STR DNA profiling is now a powerful, inexpensive tool that can generate unique DNA signatures that can be used to authenticate cell lines and detect contamination of more than one cell type. This presentation will talk about why scientists need cell authentication, what is STR profiling, and STR profiling workflow from Creative BioArray. Accurate documentation of cell line tissue of origin, sex, and species are critical to ensure the credibility, reproducibility, and translation of data and results from cell culture-based experiments. The financial implications of misidentified or contaminated cell lines can be profound. As much as $700 million per year in research that could be at risk. A survey conducted by GBSI shows that the majority, 52%, of respondents never perform authentication or other species-related QC tests on cell lines used in their experiments. Moreover, 74% never conduct STR profiling. When it comes to training, only 62% of respondents had received specific training on the problems of cell line misidentification and mislabeling, and less than one-third were trained on the importance of cell line authentication as a quality control measure for species confirmation. Furthermore, only 65% of respondents indicated that their lab follows specific written procedures for the handling and storage of cultured cells and cell lines. Many journals require cell line authentication. The following is a list of just some of many peer-reviewed journals that are known to require cell line authentication. For all submitted research involving cell lines, like our CR Journals Group and Nature Publishing Group. Many reasons can result to failure to monitor cell lines, like labeling errors and correct classification by pathologists or cross-contamination with other cell types. This problem may result in compromised data and ultimately irreproducible results. So how to solve this problem? Different genomic technologies have been applied to cell line authentication, but only one method short tandem repeat profiling has been the subject of a comprehensive and definitive standard. An international team of scientists is preparing a consensus standard on the authentication of human cells using short tandem repeat profiling. So what is short tandem repeat profiling? Short tandem repeat is a microsatellite, consisting of a unit of 2 to 13 nucleotides, repeated hundreds of times in a row on the DNA strand. Most of our DNA is identical to DNA of others. However, there are inherited regions of our DNA that can vary from person to person. Variations in DNA sequence between individuals are termed polymorphisms. STRS are short sequences of DNA, normally of length 2-5 base pairs, that are repeated numerous times in a head-tail manner. These sequences with the highest degree of polymorphism are very useful for DNA analysis, in forensics cases and paternity testing. Although the human genome contains thousands upon thousands of STR markers, only a small core set of loci have been selected for use in forensic DNA and human identity testing. The 13 core STR loci are used for the U.S. National DNA Database are shown in the chart. The number of repeats of each STR at each genetic site varies within the human populations. STR profiling is the method to identify individuals or cell lines by characteristics of their DNA. Creative BioArray offers STR profiling service. We offer unique customized solutions to fit any need. Our STR profiling workflow is from the DNA extraction to STR profile reports. If you have an immediate need or further questions, please contact Creative BioArray at info at creative-bioarray.com or 1-631-626-9181.
Thank you.